Zorin is celebrating 1 million downloads of Zorin 18 within just one month. This happened mainly because Windows 10 is being discontinued and many users are not willing to upgrade to Windows 11 due to its high-end requirements. Now this is where users discovered that Zorin is a perfect alternative to Windows operating system. It has everything a regular Windows user needs, especially for people with older computers that cannot run Windows 11. With Zorin, you can bring your computer back to life and continue using it normally. Now let's talk about Zorin 18, which is based on Ubuntu 2404 LTS and see what's new. The first thing you will notice in Zorin 18 is the beautifully redesigned desktop interface. The default theme now has a more rounded look which makes it feel more modern and clean. The selected items now follow the system accent color palette and the backgrounds and sidebars have a stronger tint. This makes the entire look more balanced and much easier on the eyes. The bottom panel now uses a floating and rounded design by default which makes the system's new visual style. The activities button on the panel has been redesigned into a reactive workspace indicator. It gives clear visual feedback and makes switching between workspaces much easier. You can also hover over the workspace indicator and scroll to quickly move between different workspaces. Zorin 18 also brings updates to the default applications the Files app now has an improved sidebar and reorganized controls, making it simpler and easier to use. The Settings application comes with redesigned preference panels arranged in a way for better navigation. The calendar gets a new sidebar with a month view and upcoming events. And many other applications across the system has also received a refreshed look. Zorin 18 makes multitasking much better with built-in window tiling that is simple and easy to use. Just go ahead and drag a window to the top of the screen and tiling controls will appear. You can then drop the window into one of the preset layouts to neatly organize your workspace. It's very easy and there's no need to remember complex keyboard shortcuts. You can also customize the tiling behavior from Zorin Appearance. The advanced tiling allows you to fine tune how it works. For example, you can enable auto tiling so windows arrange themselves automatically. This makes multitasking more intuitive for both newcomers and power users, helping everyone stay productive. Zorin 18 brings two brand new theme colors, yellow and brown. These new accent colors gives your desktop a fresh look and adds more personalization options, allowing you to create a workspace that better matches your style. Zorin 18 Pro Edition adds three new desktop layouts in Zorin Appearance. 
The compact layout looks more stylish and helps you make better use of your screen space. The Mint layout comes with a brand new start menu, inspired by Upcoming's Linux Mint redesign. And finally, the elementary layout offers a clean and minimal look. If you are coming from Windows, Zorin has its own app store that lets you easily download many useful applications. It supports both DPKG and Flatpak as backends, which means you can easily install applications like VS Code, Android Studio, browsers, and much more. When it comes to performance, Zorin OS runs very well on my gaming laptop. I'm using the Pro Edition, which comes preloaded with many useful applications to help you get started quickly. Now, compared to Windows 11, Zorin is lightweight and uses fewer system resources, so you won't notice any major hiccups or slowdown issues. Now, compared to other GNOME-based distros, Zorin uses slightly more RAM because it comes with a modified GNOME desktop and extensions. However, this doesn't negatively affect the overall user experience. The system feels very smooth thanks to its very well-optimized valent experience. Installing NVIDIA proprietary GPU drivers is very easy, making it to play Steam games and even run large language models smoothly. Zorin supports both X11 and Valent, and you can switch between sessions from the login screen. For modern systems with latest hardware, Valent is the better choice. If your computer is a bit older, Sticking with X11 is a safer option. Overall, Zorin 18 feels faster and more responsive. But thanks to system-wide performance optimizations, it's built on top of Ubuntu with pre-configured GNOME customizations, offering one of the best out-of-the-box experience for Windows users. It also includes newer drivers that improve hardware support, on top of that, Zorin 18 is an LTS release, which means it will receive updates and support for the next few years. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.